I'm not sure if you've heard this or not yet, but you are one of the reasons why the Steelers fans have hope for Russell Wilson, and that's because Michael Lombardi, former NFL GM, came on this program and said, and a light bulb went off for everybody and said, you know, Kurt Warner, great with the Rams, incredible career with the Rams, Giants, whatever happened there happened, and then goes to the Cardinals and rejuvenates, has an incredible great career there as well. We are hoping that the same thing happens with Russell Wilson and that Denver Broncos was just – Yep, that was a, that wasn't even a thing. Okay? You don't remember that? Hundred some million? Who cares? <clears throat> no, nope. yeah. don't remember that. You think Russ has a chance to do that in Pittsburgh? And what's your overall thoughts on that quarterback room in general now that it's been completely overhauled? Yeah, uh, I mean, I hope he does. Now, here's the thing that that I would say is, you know, my time uh, in St. Louis and then my time in Arizona. Um, you know, the key to that was being able to play the game the same way. When I went to the Giants, we we wanted to play football completely different than I did in mm-hmm. St. Louis. And then when I went to Arizona, it was a process of building an offense that fit not only my skill sets, but the skill sets of, of how we were built as a team, but it was more playing back to my strengths. And so it wasn't that I ever forgot how to play football. It was just okay, they're not playing and using my skill set and what I do really, really well. Got it. When I was able to do that, whether that was St. Louis or Arizona, I was able to play at an extremely high level. So that to me is kind of what you're hoping with Russell is let's get back to doing what he did well. Now, the question, because again, me being an on-athlete as a quarterback, I played the game mentally more than I played it physically, so I could Mm -hmm. play it the same way at 38 that I played it at 28. Can Russell do that? Can Russell get back to being that guy that he was in Seattle, which was more creative, more off-schedule type plays, more of a simple offense that says, hey, pick a guy and sling it or go create, um, which is kind of what they tried to do a little bit more last year in Denver, but it it, it didn't look the same. You know, It wasn't the big plays down the field. It was more checkdowns and short runs than it was – the big plays that connected to who Russell Wilson was. So I I think we have to ask two questions. And the first one is, can Russell play the same way he played in Seattle? Like, can he be that same playmaking guy that he was that made him so special and and a Hall of Fame type player in Seattle? And then secondly, what is this offense going to ask of him? You know, I think when he went to Denver, this was a combination of not only the Denver Broncos and their coach, saying we want to get a quarterback that can play more conventional quarterback. But I think it was Russell Wilson saying, I want to show everybody that I can play more conventional quarterback and read the field and and dissect defenses and do all of that. And he wasn't able to do that uh, in Denver. He wasn't able to pick that up and play that type of game the way that, you know, the best players in the league do if, if they're those types of players. And so that's where we're left right now is to go, okay. I hate that. Can one of these two things happen? Can Russell become that guy if they need him to be? Or do they have to design an offense around what Russell Wilson was in Seattle? And is he capable of doing that again and carrying a team? And and then you'd ask about the room and you ask about Justin Fields as well. And that's, I mean, I think the thing that Justin Fields has to prove to everybody too is that he is very similar to who Russell Wilson was in Seattle. He's a guy that's unbelievably talented and it will create plays and make big plays for you through the course of a game that make you go, wow, look, look at all this potential, but he doesn't make the layups. He doesn't see the field as well as he needs to, to be that guy that gives his team a chance every time out because he's doing those little things. So both of these guys to me are very similar type quarterbacks and you're asking, can they carry a team doing what they've done up to this point? Or can one of them grow into a quarterback that can be more complete, connected to their playmaking, to take the Pittsburgh Steelers to that next level? Feels like a good situation for Justin Fields, Mm -hmm. you know, because I think a lot of it, he's another one of those guys, wakes up, he's more athletic and better than everybody else. So some of the fundamental things about missing layups you're talking about, he didn't really, not that he couldn't do it, just didn't have to do it. So when those moments yeah. pop up, it's like, all right, haven't worked on it as much. Now they get an opportunity with a fresh start with a coach who has been in love with him for a long time, seemingly, if you listen to Mike Tomlin speak. And then for Russell Wilson, you talked about him wanting to prove to the world that he can be the pocket passer and dissect and break everything up. I hate that that is a thing. And, you know, it's 
mostly media's fault, I guess, but also fans' fault. This happened to Lamar Jackson, too. Like, I think whenever Lamar was a free agent, everybody was talking about, well, can Lamar's style win you a Super Bowl? And can Lamar do what a pocket passer can do, guys that have been able to play a long, long time? And then you get to that game against the Chiefs, and there's, like, all these times where he could have just ran. Mm -hmm. Lamar Jackson could have ran for 50 yards. That's how we're seeing it. From a sky cam shot, we're not in the pocket like Lamar is. But just afterwards, and then everybody starts saying, well, Lamar was trying to prove people wrong. Lamar was trying to prove people wrong. It's like... I hope that's not true. I don't think that's true. But even the thought of saying, like, what Russell did in Seattle wasn't – like, him running all over the place. Oh, yeah. That is you cooking, pal. Mm -hmm. Like, that, that is what the cooking is. Top it's, five all-time rushing yards for a quarterback. Yeah, and then when you don't want to do that anymore because you want to prove that you don't have to, it's like, bro, you should continue to prove that you can do that because <laughs> yeah, sure. not a lot of people can do that. It's like – it's all in a framing, you know, and it feels like some things get framed in a certain way and then egos, prides, legacies, and what people are telling all kind of get in the way. And that's – they're humans out there, not video games, you know. Yeah, but 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 I would still say that if you frame the quarterback position, especially come playoff time, um, that – what, what you're saying is true, that these guys are so talented that they can be successful in the regular season or on a normal basis being who they are. But when you get to the playoffs and you have to play good teams week in and week out, most teams are able to take away what you do best. Okay. And they force you to have to win inside the pocket. They force you to have to make the layups and make the throws. And that's, to me, what I'm talking about. I'm not saying – get rid of being a playmaker. Like, no, no, no. I agree. Well, yeah, but, I agree with what you're but, saying. But watch Lamar Jackson. Watch Josh Allen. Watch even Patrick Mahomes. Those guys separate themselves and are more efficient and better for their teams when they play on schedule. And I know it's crazy to see because you're like, what are you talking about? Lamar Jackson making a 50-yard run through 10 people, that's better for their team. But watch them play. There's less efficiency when you're trying to create and be Superman. So I need you to be efficient, 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 efficient. But, yeah, then give me Superman two or three times a game. I mean, look at Patrick Mahomes in the Super Bowl, wow. right? It was when the game mattered where he, you know, put on his cape mm -hmm. and he made some runs and he made some special plays. But through the course of the game, it wasn't, hey, we're going to, you know, we're winning this game because Patrick Mahomes is, is running around and making a bunch of these crazy plays. And that's what I see every single week is Josh Allen, when he plays on schedule, man, he is so good. You know, I broke down a couple tapes with Lamar Jackson uh, when he played on schedule. And he has a perfect quarterback rating, and he's playing great. And so when you can play in that structure and you can do that on a normal basis, now that's where it becomes hard on defenses. Hell yeah. As opposed to, okay, you can give me two or three of those crazy plays and try to make a bunch of those throughout a game. I believe you're going to be less efficient than playing quarterback based on the plays that are called and what's in front of you. What did Bosa say about Jalen, right? Was it Philly? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Look what we did to Jalen or something. Yeah, yeah. It was, he looks at the rush. Yeah, he looks at the rush. And they were like just taking away what that offense was. That's what great teams do. 